what is up guys welcome back to another video on my youtube channel now i am doing the second time filming this because i accidentally pressed the uh, stop button on my video and i don't have the necessary tools to <laughs> to like include the other clips in so i am just doing another video a redo on this video uh re-upload basically well not re-upload but you know what i mean so, I was unwrapping these pencils that I got off of eBay a little while ago. Uh, they're the uh, Papermate Earthrite pencils. They've been sealed for 17 years. They were made in 2003, and they've been sealed since. And as you can see, I've taken one pack of them out, and I've sharpened them, a few of them. And... I'm going to show you, um, kind of do a little discussion about pencils while I'm drawing with them. Of course, I've already drawn with them a little bit, but I'm going to kind of reincarnate. Oh, do that. I'm going to reincarnate this a little bit. So, I was talking earlier about my uh, pencil sharpener, which um, I got uh, for my birthday last year, and it's a... It's just amazing. It's an immaculate pencil sharpener, especially that it's not an electric one, and it works many, many times better. Um, and I'll explain quickly how it works. I'll get this notepad out of the way first. Sketch pad, really. Um, so basically how it works is there's a little container here which holds the shavings, and there's a lot of room in it, so you don't need to worry about taking putting the shavings in the garbage because there's quite a bit of room in here. Well, let me compare, like, here's my hand. Yep, there's quite a bit of room in the sharpener. So you don't really need to worry about taking it out, but there are sometimes if you wanted to sharpen a lot of pencils, you probably will need to. So how this works essentially is there's a crank on the back that you would crank, but First, what you do is you find what type of point you want on it. So there's a button on the back, which when you push it, that's that makes it a sharp point. And then when it's just out like this and you just leave it, it's a long point uh, pencil when you sharpen it. So, and you can, you can even see in the back how many shavings you have in there and if you need to refill it. So that is another plus. I don't know why this hole is there, I just realized that. But, so, before you crank it, you need to, there's these two little handles right here. It'd be easier if I could take the camera and show you. So, there's these two little handles right here that you pull out, and then as you pull them out, you pull them forward, and this comes out. And then, what you do is, I'm just going to sharpen this one because I've already used it, and then I'm just going to show you guys so what you do is you hold this in when you put the pencil in so let me i guess let me demonstrate i really hope i can get a good angle i don't think i can get a good angle oh. Oh. i'll try to get a good angle for you guys i just don't know if i can or yeah i don't think so all right I don't know how I'm going to do this. I don't know how I'm going to show you. Because I don't have a tripod, so. Uh, oh, how do I do this? Okay, I'll just set it down. So, I'm going to do it this way. So you put it in, like this. So you can see the pencil right there. You pull this in to get the pencil in. And then you essentially like turn it turn the the little thing the little um crank thing and then you basically turn it and sharpen it until it's done you can see my hand going like this and that helps it sharpen and then you turn it both ways to make sure it's fully sharpened then you take it out and there you go it's a perfect long point um, I'm doing long point because I personally prefer long point pencils. Um, it also depends on the pencil. Some pencils I would not advise putting in 
uh, these type of pencil sharpeners, especially electric ones. I, it's not a good idea. <laughs> but I can show you why. Well, I'm not going to show you, but a few times it has worked. This is a uh, pencil that's made out of 70% plastic, which is not good for these sharpeners, and it got a pretty good long point. But that only happens occasionally. This is a Styler Norse Eco, and it, like I said, it's made of 70% plastic, 30% wood. So that does not go well. It just doesn't sharpen with those. Um, especially also with these ones, they're made of pretty much the same composition, and these are also not good for the sharpeners. I've never gotten a long point on these, and they're also pretty cheap, so they snap when you try to sharpen them like that. Um, it's really hard to sharpen them. Sometimes you have to sharpen them with a knife. I've never sharpened any pencil with a knife because I don't trust myself, but, you know, just... I wouldn't advise it. So, what I was saying about long points is that I just prefer to sharpen them long points. And I do that mainly because I have a full pencil collection. Which a lot, most of it's, sorry, back there. As you can see, a lot of it's, my pencil collection's back there. But I have pencils all through my desk. And I prefer long points on them because you can get finer details when you're writing with them especially if you're drawing you can get better detail and also because I just like to have different pencils that I use when I write I figure that I get a better experience with a different pencil of different quality every time I write and this, none of these pencils I hate um, mainly because I only put the pencils in this cup that I um, are I feel that they're acceptable I don't think, like, I don't hate them. I only put the pencils in here that I could use, that I, like, find acceptable. And that that's just the low end of the spectrum. Uh, a lot of these I love, and I love to use a lot of the time, so. Yeah, so. Um, I'm going to sharpen them, and then what I failed to do in my other video, I, I didn't even know I was going to do this, but now that I think about it, I'm going to test the eraser. So I have both of them sharpened to a fine point, like they've never been used before. And I have the same, this is the same notepad that I used when I first tried this, but I'm going to test these out. So I have a point here. Yeah, well yeah. See, even pencils from the early 2000s those are still really good quality um it's when you get toward towards like the 2010s sorry <laughs> i have a problem today with speaking i guess always but when you get closer to the 2010s the quality goes down um especially for pencils well what I was going to say was, except for pencils that are made to be for quality, like drawing pencils, and another exception would be these black Palomino Blackwing pencils. Those are made specifically to be full of quality and all that stuff. But there are other pencils that are just have nice quality, that are just made to have quality. So, because a lot of the pencils that I get at Daiso are high quality, and especially brands from India, those are really, really nice. So, like this one here. I don't even, I never even heard of this brand before. But it's a really nice pencil when I first tried it. So that's a good sign, definitely. Um, <clears throat> but a lot of the uh, early 2000s and back pencils just have a natural quality to them. And it's when, it's just sad, kind of sad to me that pencils from the, uh, from like the late, really late, um, 2000, early 2000s to the 2010s have just sort of lost quality pretty much. So, you know, so I would say this is a pretty good pencil. It's from the early 2000s, 2003 to be exact. Um, I looked at the back and it had a, uh, you know, 2003 Sanford, Bellwood, Illinois. It said that on the back. Um, 
they're open now, so it's hard to show you. But, yeah, I took out two of them, and I've sharpened them. And this one I've te been testing, and then this one I haven't used yet. And I'm going to just um, test it out a little bit more. Yeah, these are also, even they're, even writing pencils back in the day were all good for drawing. It's like, you really can't go wrong. Yeah, these are, this is pretty soft. And they're not even scratchy either. They're, um, they're, they're just really, really immaculate and soft. That's why I love writing with different kinds of pencils is because they... They have a certain characteristic to them. That's why I like pencils um, deep down a lot more than collecting coins. Is because every single pencil, even though it's supposed to be made the same, I argue that every pencil is different. But with coins, every pencil is... I mean, every, that doesn't even make any sense. With every coin, every coin is supposed to be made the same. But every pencil, you can't really escape that. And it's really, and especially proven because with pencils, you get lots of, like, paint chipping and certain things that make a pencil unique. But with coins, you rarely see things like that. And when you do, they're really, really valuable. I don't know. It's just a certain thing. But I'm going to... Test the eraser and see what the kind of condition it's in. See how dark that is? Alright. Hey, not bad. Not bad for a pencil that's 17 years old. So, I like it. It's, it, You know, of course, it had some uh, grease smudging right there. But it still worked pretty well for that. And even when you press lightly, it's still dark, which is a really nice, again, characteristic that I enjoy when I'm writing. So, that's what I failed to do when I was testing out these before, mainly because I didn't get a chance to, or I, and I didn't know that I was going to do it, but the eraser still works pretty well. And I have 72 of them, so... <laughs> You know, you know, I could have just bought one pack, but for for being on YouTube, I thought I would go a little extra and buy quite a bit more. Um, and these were pretty cheap, too, for how old they are. I think I paid like $13 free shipping for these 72. Um, so... I mean, now that I think about it, that could even be the same price as a pack of cheap paper, as a, as a pack of, like, Paper Mate Murado Classic Pencils. And the prices vary, especially when you have pencils from around the world. Like, let me just bring out some pencils that I've gotten over, uh, some oddities, pen the pencils that I own. So, we have these. Which they actually stopped making in uh, wood pencil form. These are the Papermate handwriting pencils. Uh, you know, designed for kids. And when I saw, I originally saw these at a store called Barnes and Noble. And I wanted to buy a thousand packs, but they had them cheaper at Target. And now I only have one unopened pack left, which they do not make the wooden version anymore. They only make the mechanical version. The only way you can find the wooden version is online. So I got this pack from the store, and I'm eventually planning on selling this. I'm not sure if I'm going to sell it, though. I might just keep it for myself, but it was back here by the window at ledge. So I have that. I've been have saving it for a little while. And then we have these, which I've got... I got um, at, like, a convenience store in Montreal, Canada, they had a bunch of different types of pencils. Um, well, more like a drugstore, and they had a whole bunch of different types, so I got pretty much every one they had. Um, so, they had a couple different types. They even had some of the Stadler ones, which I got a tons of packs of, because I needed, I needed at least one pack for my collection, and, I don't know, I just kind of went hog wild on those. 
And then I found different pencils other places. But here's just the cheap school ones. So this one here, Buffalo brand. And then this is actually Papermate. And I thought it would say uh, Canadi Canadia on it. But it's just, if I put this down, all it says is Papermate Classic. So, you know, still... Not, I tried them out, and they're not bad. Um, so, you know, more pencils to add to the collection. So, But I got those a few months ago, so. Uh, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed testing these out with me. And I enjoyed testing them out. I hope you did, too. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.